Well, calasian is an extremely common eyelid lump. It happens mainly in young people aged about 20 to 40. Children can get them, older people can get them. It's a blockage of the meibomian gland and each eyelid has about 30 meibomian glands. It happens when the opening gets blocked and the oil accumulates and then the body can't get rid of the oil. It sends in little cells that try and eat the oil and they get very, very fat and they make a lump in the eyelid. Usually it's a fairly painless lump. It's not a tumour in as much as it's not a malignant tumour, but it's annoying, it can interfere with the vision. It can sometimes be inflamed as well. Most people will treat it to begin with what we call conservatively. So they'll use hot spoon bathing, they'll uh, put on some ointment. If it's very inflamed, they might even have some antibiotic tablets, but very rarely. If they've not gone by about two weeks, then they can come and see me. And as an oculoplastic surgeon, I'm trained to deal with eyelid lumps. And I'll examine them, make sure that it is a calasian and then advise them if it's ready to be uh, incised. So Calasian treatment consists of an incision and curatage done from underneath the eyelid where it's completely hidden. The eyelid is anaesthetized with a small amount of local anaesthetic, a little bit of infiltrative anaesthesia and a little bit of eye drops. And it's done in our minor surgery theatre here at Clinica London. All patients find it very tolerable. The actual surgery probably takes about 10-15 minutes and then at the end, when it's drained fully, put on an iPad and some ointment, keep the iPad on overnight and then they take the iPad off the morning after and then start to put in the chlorophenical ointment four times a day for a week. Now it's not necessary for me to see them again afterwards, usually about 80 to 90% of the calasia go away permanently in that location where it's been drained. But it can be very helpful for them to come back for me to check that it's healed and also so that we can discuss the underlying cause, namely why did they get the blockage of that meibomian gland in the first place. So we often have a follow-up appointment where we discuss the management of the blepharitis and the meibomian gland dysfunction.